Yeah, and we just had to basically redo all the experiments. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. I'm uh, Mace, I'm doing a PhD, uh, I'm based in Warsaw. I'm interested in uh, efficiency of large language models and I'm doing an internship at Qualcomm right now. I'd love to hear about your research and what you guys are working on. Our work is on scaling laws for mixture of experts models. We are actually thinking about does it make sense to use MOEs if you are constrained with memory. So normally MOEs uh, are used when you're only thinking about the compute and you want to be very fast and you want to train your models with less resources than dense models, uh, but you don't really care about memory all that much. Uh, and we uh, ask the question of, uh, of does it still make sense to use MOEs in that scenario? And we find that it is, it is the case. So we train a pretty large uh, grid of, uh, of experiments and we derive scaling laws that show that uh, MOEs can be uh, memory efficient apart from being compute efficient. Could you recall a moment from the training that didn't go as planned? Yeah, of, of course, I think uh, every project has moments like that. And in our case, it was during the training, the MOE models didn't really work as good as we thought they should. And there were also problems with a lot of tokens being dropped. And uh, we looked through the code and it turned out that instead of taking the sum of load balancing losses, we took the average of load balancing losses, which meant that it got really small for a large number of layers, and the load balancing didn't really work for large, uh, larger models. Yeah, and we just had to basically redo all the experiments. And are you able to share roughly how much uh, compute or wall clock time did it burn before you caught it? I think it would be like maybe 50,000 uh, A100 hours, something like that. Any specific metrics that now you're especially keeping an eye on? The metric that would have prevented the problem uh, back then is if we just looked at the number of uh, dropped tokens and now we definitely look at that when training models.